What's up, my inglorious bastard drone pilots? This is Danny from My Flying Eyes, and today we're gonna talk about color grading. In this little tutorial, I'm gonna share with you how to turn a sunset drone shot into a night drone shot using the Lumetri Color panel on Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, this is a very simple color grading, it's not advanced, and I'm also gonna show you how to separate the sky from the rest for using different color settings. Originally, this was a sunset shot, like the surfer getting out of the water during the sunset, but here I'm using it as the very last shot for my video, so I want to make it look more like a night shot. So we open the color panel and we go back to the original clip. Here is the original clip without any color grading. And the first thing we're going to do is open the creative and we're going to increase the sharpen a little bit. Then we open the look panel and we're going to select the blue day for night look. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I like it, but I like what it does to the sky above the horizon, but I don't like how it's looking the rest of the clip. It's too dark for me. So we're going to divide the color grading into two sections. So we duplicate the clip, we place it above, and with the duplicate selected, we go to editing and we're going to create a mask. Then we select the clip underneath and we're going to take out the color look. So we change day for night to none. So now we can clearly see the different color styles applied to the two clips. So we select the clip above, we go to editing and we're going to start adapting the mask. So we change the screen to 25%. Then we go back to edit controls, we select mask and we're going to start moving the mask dots. So we're going to cover with the mask everything that is above the horizon. And then we're going to put the low edge of the mask a little bit below the horizon. Okay, so let's adapt the dots a little bit. And then we're going to change the screen again to probably 50%. And next we're going back to edit controls and we're going to increase the mask feather a little bit to hide the edges of the mask. So now I put it in 183, but you know, just play around, tweak it and see what it looks good for you. So we perfectly divided the screen in two sections. As you can see, you know, above the horizon and below the horizon. So let's turn back the screen to fit. And before I continue with the tutorial, I want to share something with you. As some of you already know, we create original music for all of our videos. So if you need music for your drone video, go to our website myflynice.net, go to the music section of our online store and search for that track you need. By paying a very low license fee, you can download and use each track as many times as you want. Type any music genre in the search box or surf through our menu. Preview every track until you find the perfect music for your project. We can also create an original track tailored to your needs. Okay, back to the editing. I'm gonna increase the saturation a little bit because I wanna make it look very, very intense, almost unreal. You see, in this case, I'm going for that kind of look. So I'm gonna leave the sky for now and start working with the clip underneath and color grade everything that is below the horizon. So we select the clip underneath and we're gonna start working with those tint wheels, moving that little cross in the center towards the blue or the violet, trying to match the color from the other clip. Then we select the clip above and we're going to basic correction and we're gonna work a little bit with the tint and the temperature, trying to match the color from both clips. So now we go back to the clip underneath and we do the same. We work with the temperature and the tint and we do this back and forth, making both clips to look alike. We tweak a little bit the shadows 
Let's add a little bit of contrast. Now we tweak a little bit more the tint wheels. This time we play with the highlight tint wheel and then a little bit more with the shadow tint wheel. And we are going to match the colors. Now it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna add a little bit of saturation with the clip underneath also. Uh, it's a little bit dark to me, so let's increase the shadows a little bit. Let's decrease the blacks to add a little bit of contrast. So now looking good. Uh, let's play with the highlights, probably decrease a little bit. Um, let's uh, tweak the contrast a little bit more. So I like it, it's looking good. Uh, you know, that kind of like a sunset, almost night look. So next I'm going to double check if the horizon moves to see if I'm gonna have to animate the mask. So we go above the screen and drag the horizontal guideline and place it right at the horizon. So next we scroll along the clip and see if the horizon moves, but apparently not. Apparently it stays on the line so we don't have to animate the mask. So it's a pretty easy editing. So let's go back to the clip above and we are going to do our last tweaking. So let's add a little bit of contrast. Let's see the exposure. No, we're going to leave it as it is. That's pretty much it. Probably a little bit of shadows. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I like it. Okay, my inglorious bastards, drone pilots, this was our little day for night color grading tutorial. I hope you liked this video. I hope you find it useful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I see you on my next video. Bye bye.